welcome back to our channel for yet another interesting science topic. In this episode, we will be discussing the human body, which consists of several interconnected systems, each with its specific functions and organs. Our journey commences with a deep dive into the nervous system, which is in essence, the body's sophisticated electrical circuitry, a complex network of communication lines that transmit signals between various parts of the body. To fully comprehend its magnitude, let's break it down into its primary components, the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. The brain, the command center of the operation, directs signals to every corner of the body and receives information in return, facilitating the regulation of body functions and the execution of actions. The spinal cord serves as the major pathway for information flowing back and forth between the brain and the peripheral nerves. It is a vital messaging link between the brain and the rest of the body. And then we have the nerves, the body's information superhighways. They are responsible for transmitting signals within the body. Sensory nerves relay information from the body to the brain, whereas motor nerves transmit signals from the brain to the muscles, guiding our every move. In essence, the nervous system orchestrates the body's internal communication ensuring the smooth operation of the body's systems and the effective execution of our interactions with the outside world. It alerts us when our hand touches something hot, enables us to appreciate the aroma of coffee and allows us to react and run when we sense danger. Moving forward, we'll delve deeper into the intricate workings of the muscular system. This system, often referred to as the powerhouse of the body, enables movement and locomotion it accomplishes this through the rhythmic contraction and relaxation of muscles. This comprises three distinct types of muscles, skeletal, cardiac, and smooth muscles. Skeletal muscles are attached to bones and facilitate body movement, while cardiac muscle forms the wall of the heart, pumping blood throughout the body. Smooth muscles, on the other hand, are found in organs and structures such as the esophagus, stomach, intestines, bronchi, uterus, urethra, and blood vessels, controlling the involuntary actions within the body. Each muscle type serves a unique function, and together they form the powerhouse that enables a tremendous range of bodily movements and functions. From the simple blinking of our eyes, to the steady beating of our hearts, to the very breaths that we take, the muscular system is vital for life itself. Our voyage of discovery now takes us deeper into the wonder that is the skeletal system, the robust and intricate framework of the body. This system isn't just the body's structural groundwork, but it also serves as the body's shield, safeguarding our precious internal organs from external harm. The skeletal system is majorly composed of bones, each of these bones meticulously crafted to support and give shape to various parts of our body. They come in an array of shapes and sizes, from the large femur in the leg to the small delicate bones in our fingers. Next in line are cartilages, a flexible and rubbery substance that coats the ends of bones, ensuring they don't rub against each other, thereby preventing damage. This substance is also found in other body parts like the nose and ears, giving them their specific shape and flexibility. Ligaments, the strong fibrous bands, act as the body's connectors, binding bones to bones. They give stability to our joints and facilitate movement, allowing us to run, jump, and perform various other activities. Last but not least are the tendons. These are similar to ligaments, but instead bind muscles to bones. They enable muscles to pull on bones, causing joints to move and helping with body locomotion. Together, all these components of the skeletal system work in harmony, providing structure, protection, and enabling us to move. This system truly is a marvel of biological engineering. Now, we journey into the remarkable world of the circulatory or cardiovascular system, our body's intricate highway that dynamically circulates blood, oxygen, and nutrients all throughout the body. This vital system is an extensive network constituted by the tireless heart, the intricate network of blood vessels, and the life-sustaining blood. To begin with, let's delve into the heart, an organ that is ceaselessly at work. 
It functions as the powerful pump, which rhythmically contracts and expands, pushing the blood to every nook and cranny of our body, ensuring every organ gets the nutrients it needs to function. Next, we have the blood vessels, an intricate network of tubes that spread out from the heart, extending to every part of the body. They are categorized into arteries, veins, and capillaries, each with distinct roles. Arteries carry oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the body, while veins transport oxygen-poor blood back to the heart. Capillaries, the tiniest of blood vessels, allow the exchange of nutrients and oxygen between blood and the body's cells. Finally, we have blood, the essential liquid that flows through this network. It carries oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body and transports carbon dioxide back to the lungs to be exhaled. Along with this, it carries nutrients from the digestive system to all cells, acting as a delivery system that nourishes and sustains life. In essence, the circulatory system is an efficient and complex transport system, delivering essentials to the body's cells and taking away waste products, making it a central part of maintaining overall body health. We will then embark upon the fascinating journey of the respiratory system, this intricate system is responsible for facilitating the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between our bodies and the environment. The respiratory system is primarily made up of two parts, the upper and the lower respiratory tracts. The upper respiratory tract consists of the nose, nasal cavity, and the pharynx. The air we breathe enters our body through the nose, which is equipped with tiny hairs called cilia that filter out dust and other particles. The air then travels through the nasal cavity, which warms, moisturizes, and filters the air before it reaches our lungs. The lower respiratory tract includes the larynx, trachea, bronchi, and the lungs. The larynx or voice box allows us to produce sounds, while the trachea, a tube-like structure, carries air towards the lungs. The bronchi are two branching tubes that further divide into smaller bronchioles, leading to tiny air sacs called alveoli within the lungs. The lungs are the main organ in this system, housed within our chest, protected by the rib cage. These sponge-like organs take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide in a process known as respiration. Each lung is sectioned into lobes, with three in the right and two in the left, to accommodate the heart. The respiratory system not only provides oxygen to every cell in the body, but also removes waste gases like carbon dioxide that we exhale out. It also plays a key role in maintaining the body's pH balance, protecting us from infection, and helping us communicate by enabling speech. It's a system that works tirelessly, even as we rest, reminding us of the beauty and complexity of our body's engineering. We'll now delve deeper into the digestive system, this intricate system operates as the body's fuel processing plant, handling the complex tasks of breaking down the food, extracting nutrients, and eliminating waste. Each step in this process is crucial for maintaining our health and energy levels. Our journey begins with the mouth, where the first stages of digestion occur. The food is broken down into smaller pieces by the teeth, and enzymatic activity begins with the saliva. Following this, the food moves down the esophagus, through the action of peristalsis, into the stomach. The stomach is a key player in this system, acting as a mixer and grinder. It churns the food into a semi-liquid state, known as chyme, and begins the process of protein digestion. Next, the chyme enters the small intestine, the longest part of the digestive tract. This is where most of the digestion and absorption of nutrients take place. The small intestine breaks down the chyme further with the help of enzymes released by the pancreas and bile produced in the liver. The liver, the body's largest internal organ, plays a major role in metabolism and has numerous functions in the body, including glycogen storage, decomposition of red blood cells, plasma protein synthesis, hormone production, and detoxification. Moving down the tract, the remaining undigested food enters the large intestine or colon. The primary function here is to absorb water and electrolytes from the indigestible food matter, and then to pass useless waste material from the body. Towards the end, the pancreas works in conjunction with the liver. It releases enzymes into the small intestine to help break down fats and proteins. 
It also regulates the body's sugar levels by producing insulin. In this fascinating journey through the digestive system, every organ has a unique and indispensable role. This intricate network ensures that our bodies continue to function, grow and heal. So, the next time you take a bite of your favorite food, take a moment to appreciate the incredible work your digestive system is doing for you. Next up, we'll delve deeper into the remarkable endocrine system, an intricate network acting as our body's chemical messenger system. This system is responsible for the production and regulation of hormones, which are tiny yet potent chemical messengers. They travel in our bloodstream to tissues or organs, controlling a myriad of essential bodily functions and processes. The endocrine system consists of a host of glands, including the pituitary gland, hypothalamus, thyroid, adrenal glands, pancreas, ovaries, and testes. Each gland has its unique set of responsibilities. For instance, the pituitary gland, often deemed the master gland, regulates growth, blood pressure, and even some aspects of pregnancy and childbirth. Meanwhile, the thyroid manages our metabolism, body temperature, and heart rate. Adrenal glands play a crucial role in stress responses by secreting adrenaline and cortisol. The pancreas, on the other hand, regulates our blood sugar levels, and the ovaries and testes are responsible for reproductive functions. All in all, the endocrine system, through its complex network of glands and the hormones they produce, plays an instrumental role in managing our body's growth, metabolism, sexual function, reproduction, sleep and mood. It's a remarkable system that silently, yet significantly, shapes our daily lives. Moving forward, we'll delve deeper into the intricacies of the immune system. This system serves as our body's robust defense mechanism against harmful invaders, including but not limited to bacteria, viruses, and an array of foreign substances that pose potential threats to our health. The immune system, a complex network of cells, tissues, and organs, plays a vital role in our survival. It includes components such as the white blood cells, or leukocytes, which search out and destroy disease-causing organisms or substances. Leukocytes are further divided into two types, phagocytes that chew up invading organisms, and lymphocytes that help the body remember and recognize previous invaders. The immune system also includes the spleen, lymph nodes, tonsils and bone marrow, which create a conducive environment for immune cells to communicate and coordinate their response. Moreover, it is responsible for distinguishing our tissue from foreign tissue, an essential function when it comes to organ transplants. This is just a brief glimpse of the immune system and for further understanding, refer to the topic books and materials in your school library. Next, we'll delve deeper into the fascinating world of the integumentary system. This complex system is a marvel in itself, comprised of several vital elements, the skin, hair, nails and glands. Let's start with the skin, our body's largest organ. It acts as the initial barrier against external harm, shielding us from physical damage, bacterial invasion and harmful ultraviolet radiations. The skin also plays an instrumental role in regulating our body temperature, an essential function for survival. Moving on, we look at the hair. While it may seem purely aesthetic, hair on our head protects our scalp from sun exposure and heat loss. Even the hair inside our nose and ears plays a pivotal role in trapping dust particles and foreign objects. Our nails, on the other hand, are not just an essential part of our beauty routine, but also provide protection to the delicate tips of our fingers and toes from injuries. They also aid in picking up small objects and scratching. Lastly, the glands in the integumentary system are of two types, sweat and sebaceous glands. The sweat glands help in maintaining the body's temperature by releasing sweat, which cools the body as it evaporates. Sebaceous glands produce sebum, an oil that moisturizes the skin and hair, preventing them from drying out. In essence, the integumentary system, with its key components, provides an indispensable shield, protecting us from the external environment and playing a crucial role in temperature regulation and sensory perception. Delving deeper into our exploration, we next focus on the intricate network of the lymphatic system, a significant cog in the wheel of our body's internal mechanism. 
This complex system acts essentially as a highway that aids in maintaining the fluid balance within the body. It does so by returning excess tissue fluid to the bloodstream, thus ensuring a proper balance between blood and tissues. Not merely limited to fluid balance, the lymphatic system also has a distinctive role in the transport of fats. It absorbs fats from the digestive tract and transports them to the blood, where they can be used for energy. However, its most crucial function lies in bolstering our body's immune defenses. The lymphatic system houses a whole host of disease-fighting cells known as lymphocytes. These cells are instrumental in aiding the body to resist or fight off infections and diseases, thus serving as a protective shield for the body. The main components of the lymphatic system include lymph, the clear fluid that travels through the system, lymph vessels which transport lymph, lymph nodes, which produce and store cells that fight infection and disease, and lymphatic organs, including the tonsils, spleen and thymus, that house white blood cells. In conclusion, the lymphatic system, with its vast network of vessels, nodes and organs, plays an indispensable role in fluid balance, fat transport and immunity defense, thus ensuring the smooth functioning of our body. It is this system that silently works behind the scenes, keeping us healthy and functioning optimally. Afterward, we will thoroughly analyze the urinary or excretory system, taking a deep dive into its primary function, the filtration and removal of waste products from the blood. This fundamental physiological system plays a vital role in maintaining our body's electrolyte balance, which ensures the proper functioning of our cells and organs, and aids in the regulation of blood pressure, an essential aspect of overall health. The urinary system comprises of several key components, each playing a critical role in waste disposal and regulation. Firstly, we have the kidneys, a pair of bean-shaped organs that are primarily responsible for filtering waste and excess substances from the blood, including toxins and surplus water. The kidneys use a complex dual system of blood vessels and tubules to filter, reabsorb and excrete substances as needed. Next are the ureters, a pair of tubes that connect the kidneys to the bladder. They serve as the transportation channel for the urine produced in the kidneys, allowing it to pass smoothly into the bladder. The bladder, a muscular sac situated in the lower part of the abdomen, is designed to store urine until it is excreted from the body. The bladder can stretch and shrink according to the volume of urine it holds and signals the brain when it's time to excrete the waste. The final component is the urethra, a tube running from the bladder to the outside of the body. Its purpose is to carry urine from the bladder during urination. Through this comprehensive exploration, we aim to provide an in-depth understanding of the urinary system, its constituents, and its crucial role in our body's overall functioning. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the human body, excluding the reproductive system. Recognizing that children of all ages watch our channel, we have omitted this system. It should be explained by a parent or teacher for appropriate understanding. We've explored how the human body systems work in harmony to keep us alive, illustrating the crucial interplay between different body systems for our well-being. We hope you've enjoyed this immersive exploration of our body systems. Remember, we appreciate your feedback and comments. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned as we delve further into numerous other engaging and enlightening science topics. Until next time, farewell.